Hey guys. Okay, so um, if you follow me on Facebook and... No, I didn't tweet it. Just Facebook did. Um, you would know that I went to Ulta today and a lot of you guys were like, Oh, show's a haul, show's a haul. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I also went to CVS, I'm sorry, Walgreens yesterday and I picked up some stuff but I didn't open anything because I knew I was going to go to Ulta today. So I was like, oh, I'll just wait. So it's going to be an Ulta slash Walgreens haul. So... I'll just start really quickly with the stuff that I got from Walgreens because it's not too much, but it is makeup stuff, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So the first thing that I picked up was this new, why you gotta fall on the floor stuff, um, was this new thing from Maybelline and it's called Baby Lips and it looks like this. I think it looks so cute when I saw it, I was like, um, need that. It said new and it says it's a moisturizing lip balm with SPF 20 in it, so it just looks like this. Um, they had, I think, six different ones, I'm not sure, but I picked this one up because it was pink punch, and I, like, love punch flavored, like, lip gloss or anything like that, so I picked this one up. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so it says that it's an eight-hour moisture lip, eight hours of moisture plus lip renewal is what these things are supposed to do, and they're called baby lips. The next thing that I got was this thing from Maybelline, or, a uh, nail polish from Revlon, and it's called... Facets of Fuchsia. Ugh. It's my mother. Hello. Sorry about that. Um, so like I said, it's called Facets of Fuchsia, and it's just like this gorgeous, like, black nail polish with all these purple, like there's small glitters, and then there's really large glitter, so that's what it looks like. Like, I really need another polish. But I really like this one um, for, like, fall and stuff. I think I'm going to put it on after this video because it looks really cool. So I hope it has, like, good color payout because you know how some nail polishes you're not really too sure about. All right, all right, all right. The next thing I got was these All May Makeup Eraser Sticks. And they just kind of, they're just Q-tips, basically. Sorry, it's a little bright. The window's open. Um, but they have makeup remover inside of them because, you know, you snap them and then it's a lot easier to take off your makeup because I go through Q-tips like nobody's business because I have such long eyelashes that when I'm, like, every single day when I do my mascara, my mascara will get up here or it'll get under my eye. I don't know if I'm sloppy or it's just because my lashes are long, um, but I kind of put on mascara really fast, so maybe that's what it is, but I really like these because they have, um, makeup remover in them already. So those are by All May. And then I picked up this from Revlon and it's, um, it was like, I picked it up, it was like on a end cap with this. And it's called Revlon Diamond Dust and this one is in Night Sky and this one looks gorgeous. All right, and then the last things I picked up are all lip products, so I'll throw that on the floor. Um, I got two more one of them is just, I'll just show you this real quick, it's just another one, um, um, Primrose from Revlon. I just had to buy another one because I was running low, so nothing special. And then I picked up one of these, it's the, um, I want to open this because I want to see, just chip my polish. Don't you love that when you try to open something and you chip your nail polish? I don't love it. So I picked this one up and it's the Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick and the color that I picked it up in is Ultimate Orchid and it just looks orchid or orchid? 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 Shh, slow kid. So it just looks like this. It's a gorgeous, like, pinky plummy color. And I'll do a little swap. Oh, baby. And it is cream. There's no shimmer in it or anything like that. And I really like the color. So, and it's a color stay lip liquid lipstick. So, I wonder what the staying power is. Alright, the next two things that I picked up were two more Maybelline lipsticks. Like I said, you guys know that the Color Fusion line is my favorite. Color Fusion. Color Sensational line, right? That's what it's called. Yeah, Color Sensation. Sensational. Um, and these were called, like, um, it was again on the end cap, and I think it's like a new collection or limited edition or something like that, because you can see the packaging is different. It kind of fades into, like, a dark color. I don't think the other ones do that. Now I'll see the other ones that look like this. So I think these were kind of called, they were like jewel something like that. I don't remember. I should have remembered and I didn't. But the first one that I picked up was Amethyst Ablaze and it's another gorgeous purple. And it kind of has like glitter flex in it. And these are the first um, lipsticks that I picked up that kind of have like, I don't know, it's not really glitter. It kind of makes them look like you have like metallic lips. So that's Amethyst Ablaze because you can kind of see that sheen to it, right? It's not just my imagination. 
I'm hot. Whew. And then the next one I picked up is Rockin' Fuchsia. And Rockin' Fuchsia just looks like that. Gorgeous. I feel like it's way more on the purple side, which is why I picked it up. There was like six or seven colors. These are the only two that I picked up. And then there's Fuchsia. What is it called again? Rockin' Fuchsia. So I love those two. Can't wait to wear those. So that was what I picked up from Walgreens. And now on to the really good stuff. Um, Ulta. Dun, 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 dun. So the bag's pink. It's usually orange. You guys know that. Uh, because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, excuse me. Mm. Um, during Breast Cancer Awareness Month at Ulta, they have, like, really good deals on, like, hair products and stuff like that. So... That's why I wanted to go, and I wanted to go before. I know the st the sale started Sunday, which I think was the first, right? Um, so I wanted to go before like all the good stuff was gone, or before I missed out on the deals. I don't know how long they run them for, but um, so we'll just start. I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out of the bag. So the first thing that I got was this big sexy hair spray and play harder, which looks like this. Um, and as you see, it is pink. A lot of the stuff that I pull out of the bag is going to be pink because, like I said, it was on special. And this is just like a firm, volumizing hairspray. And I've used it before, but I didn't want to buy it. Like, I like it, but I've never bought it before because I'm pretty sure it's like 20 something dollars and I was like I don't pay for that but it was on sale for nine dollars so that's why I picked one up and it's a big old bottle 10.6 ounces so and this is just a little thing saying that proceeds will go to breast cancer um and then let's put this bag up here and then I, find, I picked up another It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In. Um, I haven't had this stuff for a while just because I haven't gone to Ulta in a while. And I refuse to pay like $25 because you can get it at like Walgreens or Target like that. But I just am scared to get it from one of those places because I've heard so many horror stories that those products aren't real. Like they're bought at like hair shows and then watered down and then sold to, you know, wholesalers like that. So... I've always been told if you're going to buy like professional products like that are sold in salon to buy them from like a hair salon or like a beauty store like that. So side note. Um, so I picked up another It's a 10. I love, love, love this stuff. You guys know it does 10 things. I'm not going to go through and tell you all of them because I'm sure all of you. Oh, I miss that smell. I'm pretty sure all of you have heard what it does. Get back on there. And again, it's pink because it's breast cancer. It's usually blue if you're looking for it. The next thing I got was the Bedhead TG masterpiece massive shine hairspray and i've been wanting to try this because i heard um it does give great shine to your hair as well as hold but again i didn't want to spend i think it's like 20 dollars or 23 dollars or something like that um so i never wanted to pay that because i was like i don't know like i'm weird about certain things like some things i can spend tons of money on and other things i'm like no but it was on sale for 7.99 so i picked that up and then there's another one that goes with it Um, I got the Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo, which again, I've wanted to try for a while, but again, it was $20, so I was like, no. So both of these were $7.99. They had tons and tons of tons, so I suggest, like, if you wanted to try these things, but you never wanted to pay the price tag on them, to go grab them now, because they're only $7.99. So, all right, all right, all right. The next thing I got, oh, I have been eyeballing this probably forever it's the macadamia natural oil deep repair mask and it looks like this i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it before a lot of people talk about it they say it's great for your hair um the only downside is is it's 30 dollars now you don't understand how many times i've been to ulta how many times i've picked this bad boy up set it down pick it up set it up opened it up smelled it put it down picked it up walked around came back picked it up put it down and I've never bought it. So finally today when I went in there, I was like, I'm just going to get it. I really, really want it. I love how it smells. I love my macadamia oil. So I wanted to give this a try. I've heard great things about it. So I finally, finally, finally bit the bullet and picked it up. So hopefully this will work. And I'm going to use it for a couple of weeks and see how it goes. And we'll definitely let you guys know if it's worth the money or not. <sighs> I'm running out of breath. Then I didn't even know that Ulta sold Wet n Wild, but I... I guess they do. Have they always, or is it like new? Like, are they just starting to sell them? But anyways, I picked up a bronzer, and it's called Goddess, and the reason I picked it up is because I have a hard time finding bronzer that has no shimmer in it, and this bronzer had no shimmer in it. I think these were only $2.99. Um, and then I picked up another blush, because I really love their, I only have one blush from them, and it's Heather Silk, and I love Heather Silk. It's actually what's on my cheeks right now. 
So I picked up another one that's Mellow Wine, and it is just kind of more um, like an orangey color. Not orangey. Well, I don't know. I guess it kind of has like orange tones in it, like an orangey pink color maybe. So I picked those two up. Hmm. Then I got the Remmel Perfect Match Skin Tone Adapting Concealer. It's a two-in-one concealer and highlighter, and it looks like this. I have been looking for this product everywhere. Like, you don't understand. Um, I saw a couple of reviews on it, and I like I love concealer, so I really wanted to give it a try. Um, like I said, it is new. I've seen the Match Perfecting Foundation in tons of places, but the only place that I've seen this is at my Walmart, and I hate it because... It's like everybody's an asshole and they pick them up and then they squeeze them because they have like this applicator tip like this. So they like squeeze them when they're looking at them or something and all the product is like in the caps and I just get so mad when people like do that. So there was none left always at Walmart and the ones that were left were all disgusting so I was like no. I've looked for at them at Target, CVS, Walgreens, can't find them anywhere. So finally when I was in Wal uh, Ulta, not Walmart. I was getting ready to leave and um, I was like, oh, let me check the Rimmel stuff. And thank God they had them. They had tons of them there, so I was so excited. The color that I picked mine up in is light. Um, on the back, it'll tell you, um, if you know your foundation color, it'll tell you what concealer you should go towards. Um, mine always says that I should pick up like a light medium concealer, but I like my concealers to be a little extra light because I feel like light mediums kind of blend right into my foundation and I don't really like that. So I'm excited to try this. So if you guys know any good things about this, leave it below. All right. Then I got just this like random Conair Perfect Pony Volume and Lift. It creates a thicker pony a secure hold and comfort so it just looks like this I don't know if you guys have seen them but I've seen um this girl that works at the tanning salon I go to she always has it in her hair and it makes her ponytail look so like nice and big so I was like I want to try that so I got it <laughs> then I also picked up bling string sparkly hair extensions um as seen on tv I didn't even realize it said that so if you guys remember a little while ago when I had um, tinsel in my hair, this is basically what it is. Um, I got two spools, ten clips, and I'm, there's over 500 feet. It says that it's good for 400 applications. Um, it was 10 bucks, but it was actually on sale for $8. No, $7. So I didn't even know that. I just realized that when I looked at my receipt. So basically, um, I've got to tie them onto little baby strands. So, But I really, really loved when I had um, tinsel in my hair. So... I haven't seen them anywhere else. I know salons do it, but I refuse to pay the amount of money they want to charge me. So I picked these up, and I'm going to try to do it myself because that's what I like to do. Um, bah, bah, bah. The next thing that I got what is that noise. I'm here by myself, so I keep hearing random noises, and I don't like it. The next thing that I got was the Mario Badesco Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. So this is what it looks like. I had a sample of this one time. Sorry, it's really bright. I had a sample of this one time and I really liked it. The reason that I picked it up is that I noticed that when I'm like taking my makeup off at night that my skin is looking kind of dull and I don't really really like that so this like when you go to Ulta they have like all the Mario Badesco stuff like in the back by the high-end makeup and then like underneath every single like product it'll tell you like what it does and I remember that it said that it rejuvenates skin and um, restores like youthfulness to it so that's why I picked it up. I think it has a weird smell though that I don't Oh no, it's fine. I don't even really know what that smells like. You know, I like to smell things. Alright, so that's the big bag, and now on to the little bag. I don't even know what's in here. So then I picked up the Sally Hansen Salon Effects. You guys have all seen these, but I picked them up. It's like a Halloween one, and they're just little skulls. They had like five or six different ones. They had ones with ghosts, spider webs. They had like green ones with like barbed wire on them, but I really liked the little, um, skull and crossbones so I'm gonna of course wait till it gets closer to Halloween to wear those but excited then I got these beauty fixation tinted lip conditioners and these are like little lip swabs um, because I have been wearing more lipstick lately instead of lip gloss per se um, I don't really put a gloss over it my lips have been getting so dry so these were conditioning right these were lip conditioners so I wanted to give them a try they had a bunch of like 
different things like makeup remover ones, like nail polish fix ones. I had a ton, so um, but I picked up the tinted lip conditioner ones, and these were $4.99, I think. $4.99 or $3.99, something like that. Then I just got some bobby pins, boring. All right, all right, all right, what else? Then I got some NYX um, lip liners. Well, first I got two Wet n Wild um, just eyeliner pencils. I got a black and a white one for some Halloween tutorials that I have planned, so I needed some like inexpensive ones to draw on my face. <laughs> All right, and then I picked up four, um, what are these? Lip liners. And the first one that I got was in pale pink. Then I got prune. Then I just threw one on the floor. Then I got rose and then last but not least I got plush red because I need a good red lip liner so those are the four that I got I think these were all like three dollars or three forty nine or something like that I also picked up two more NYX mega lip shines I really like these because they're super shiny the only thing that I don't like um I mean I don't mind it but sometimes it's kind of like whoa is the smell they smell like cherry tootsie pops or something like that I don't know they remind me of something cherry tootsie pops for sure um so the first one that i got was salsa i think i actually already have salsa and if i do i'm gonna be pissed no maybe i don't so here's salsa right there just a nice light pinky color and then the next one that i got was la 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 and that's what la la looks like so whew. see right now it's kind of like bleh. And then last but not least, I picked up three little nail pop. Oh, I'm sorry, four. Um, I was like walking by, and like you know how when you go into Ulta, they have like all these in caps of like new stuff, and they have these little baby um, nail polishes, and they look so cute. And they're called Pixel, and they're like high shine lacquers. So the first one, I don't even know if like the colors are on them. They're so small. Just kidding. This one is Sizzle In, and it's one of those like beigey gray colors. They're so cute. I love anything miniature. Like, I'm a psycho. The next one is amazing. All the letters are, like, doubled. Nice little pink color. This one is called Marvelicious. Like a corally pink. And then last but not least, we got this little guy. And this one is called Hello Beautiful. And it's just this nice, like, lilac-y, pink, purpley, baby, creamy color. Yeah, that one sums them up. All right. So that is all the stuff that I got, um, seems like kind of a lot. I'm excited for my bling strings. I hope that I can do these as good as the lady did my own hair, so I'm excited. I didn't even know they sold those. So that's everything that I got. Um, if you guys want to see, review, there's so many noises going on and I don't appreciate any of them. Alright, so if you guys want to see reviews on any of the things that I um, purchased today, just leave me a comment down below and let me know what you want to see. Make sure you follow me on Facebook and make sure you tweet me. It's um, at nguerrero19, so we can chitty chat. Um, yeah, so that's everything, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.